Have you ever wondered if your life is following a predetermined path? A question many of us ponder at some point. We find ourselves drawn to the idea of destiny, the belief that each one of us has a unique plan or purpose charted out. This leads us to our topic for today, God has a plan for you. Let's travel back in time to my high school days. I was a decent football player, but a knee injury ended my budding sporting career. At the time, it felt like the end of the world. Little did I know, this was the universe's way of steering me towards my true calling, storytelling, which brings us here today. This anecdote might resonate with some of you. Life often throws curveballs that seem negative initially. But when we look back, we realize these events led us to where we are, to who we are. Sometimes it may seem that life is chaotic, but could it be that every moment is a piece of a bigger plan? Consider the biblical story of Joseph, a man whose life was filled with twists and turns. Born into a large family, he was the favorite son of his father, which caused envy and resentment among his brothers. This envy led to a heinous act where his brothers sold him into slavery, a shocking twist in his young life. As a slave, Joseph found himself in the house of Potipar, an officer of Pharaoh. Despite his circumstances, he remained steadfast and honest, which earned him the favor and trust of Potipar. However, another twist in his life came when he was falsely accused and thrown into prison. In the cold, dark confines of the prison, Joseph could have given in to despair, but he didn't. Instead, he used his gift of interpreting dreams, a skill that eventually caught the attention of Pharaoh himself. You see, Pharaoh had been tormented by two perplexing dreams that no one could interpret, but Joseph could and his accurate interpretation saved Egypt from seven years of famine. This extraordinary feat catapulted him from prisoner to prime minister of Egypt. He was second in command only to Pharaoh. His journey, filled with pits, prisons, and palaces, was not an easy one. But each step, each hardship was a stepping stone, shaping him, preparing him for the task ahead. Joseph's life is a testament that our trials and tribulations are often pathways to our destiny, his story underscores the truth that even in the midst of adversity, even when we don't understand why we're going through what we're going through, there is a plan. In the midst of adversity, Joseph could not have known his struggles were leading him to a place of great responsibility and influence. But looking back, we see a woven tapestry of events, not happening to him, but for him. His story reminds us that there is a purpose in our pain a reason for our struggles and a reward for our faithfulness. And most importantly, it reminds us that indeed God has a plan for you. But this idea is not confined to ancient texts. Let's explore some modern examples. Let's take a look at Thomas Edison, the renowned inventor. He was not born a genius. His teachers thought him to be too slow to learn. He was fired from his first two jobs for not being productive enough. But he didn't let that stop him. He went on to hold over 1,000 patents for his inventions. His journey was fraught with failures, but he saw each setback as merely another step towards success. In hindsight, his early struggles were not hindrances but stepping stones that led him to his destiny, his larger plan. Or consider Oprah Winfrey, a name synonymous with success. But her journey was not easy. She was born into poverty, faced abuse, and encountered numerous career setbacks before becoming a global icon. Her trials and tribulations didn't define her. Instead, they strengthened her resolve and honed her into the influential figure she is today. She once said, turn your wounds into wisdom. Indeed, her life is a testament to this. Looking back, it's clear that her challenging journey was part of a larger plan. And let's not forget about Stephen King, a master of horror and suspense. Before he became a best-selling author, he faced countless rejections. His first novel, Carrie, was rejected 30 times before it was finally published. He even threw the manuscript in the trash, but his wife retrieved it, encouraging him to keep trying. Today he has published over 60 novels. He once said, you can, you should, and if you're brave enough to start, you will. His early rejections were not failures, but stepping stones that prepared him for his future success. Each of these individuals faced trials but in retrospect, they can see how those experiences were part of a larger plan. Now think about your own life. 
take a moment and let your mind wander through the corridors of your past. Remember the times when you felt like you hit a wall, when your world seemed to crumble around you. Remember the setbacks that felt like they would break you, the hardships that seemed insurmountable. Perhaps you lost a job or a relationship ended. Maybe you faced a health crisis or you simply found yourself feeling lost and directionless. In those moments, it might have felt like the universe was against you, that you were alone in your struggle. Now, fast forward to the present moment. Look at where you are today. Ask yourself, would I be where I am now had I not endured those trials? Consider the strength you gained from overcoming those obstacles. Reflect on the wisdom you acquired from those experiences, the resilience you developed, the courage you discovered within you. Remember that job you lost? Maybe it led you to a career you love, that relationship that ended. Perhaps it made room for a deeper connection with someone else. That health crisis, it might have sparked a journey towards a healthier lifestyle, that feeling of being lost. It could have guided you towards a path of self-discovery. With the benefit of hindsight, you might realize that those setbacks were not roadblocks, but detours leading you to a better path. Those hardships, as painful as they were, might have been blessings in disguise, shaping you into the person you are today, steering you towards a destiny you could not have envisioned. In the grand tapestry of life, every thread, no matter how tangled or frayed it may seem, has a purpose. Every experience, every encounter, every challenge we face is woven into our story, contributing to the intricate design of our journey. Could it be possible that these experiences were part of a bigger plan for your life? A plan that is still unfolding, still revealing its design, one thread at a time. It's easy to become discouraged when life doesn't go as planned. But let me tell you, these are the exact moments that shape us, mold us, and lead us to our ultimate destiny. They are not stumbling blocks, but stepping stones towards a bigger, grander plan. In the midst of the storm, it can be hard to see the silver lining. When you're knee-deep in adversity, it's difficult to envision a brighter tomorrow. But it's during these trying times that we must hold steadfast to our faith, trusting that there's a purpose for our pain, a reason for our struggles, and a reward for our faithfulness. Think about it. The trials we face are not designed to break us, but to make us stronger, wiser, and more resilient. There are opportunities for growth and learning. Every setback is a setup for a comeback. Every disappointment is a divine appointment leading us to our destiny. Let's not forget the story of Joseph, a tale that epitomizes the notion of divine design. Just when it seemed like all was lost, when he was sold into slavery, wrongfully imprisoned, and seemingly forgotten, God was working behind the scenes orchestrating the events of his life towards a greater purpose. In the same way, your life is not a series of random events. It's a beautiful tapestry woven together by the hands of the divine. Each thread, no matter how painful or perplexing, contributes to the overall design. So when life throws you curveballs, when your plans go awry, when you're faced with obstacles and opposition, don't be disheartened. Instead, embrace the journey. Trust the process. Have faith in the plan that is bigger than your understanding. Remember, this moment, this challenge, this hardship you're facing, it's not an end. It's simply a part of the journey. A chapter in your book. A scene in your movie. A note in your symphony. Remember, just like in the stories we've shared, your current situation may be a stepping stone to a bigger plan. So hold on. Keep faith and watch as your beautiful story unfolds. So, does God have a plan for you? We've journeyed through the question of destiny, explored the story of Joseph, and looked at modern-day examples. We've pondered personal reflections and encouraged embracing the journey. Each of these threads weave into the tapestry of life, illustrating that each person's path is unique, a testament to a grand design. Life presents us with a spectrum of experiences, from joy to sorrow, triumph to defeat. These moments, while sometimes challenging, are not random. They are milestones on your life's path, guiding you towards your destiny. We've learned that the universe doesn't just happen. It's a symphony, a masterpiece in the making. So in times of uncertainty, remember to remain hopeful. Trust the process. Believe in the journey. For each step you take, 
Each challenge you face forms a part of a grander plan. Perhaps the next time life seems chaotic you'll remember that there may be a bigger plan at work.